Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to download and compile the MD Pro 3 source code. First we will be downloading the Git program for Windows. You go to this website to download Git for Windows. 64-bit installer. You run the installer. You confirm with yes on the administrator prompt. Then you click on next, 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 next. Next, 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 and install. So you don't have to change any of the settings that are pre selected. Now that Git is installed, we can download the source code of MD Pro 3. For that, we will be using the git clone command. Now we will go to the MD Pro 3 source code website, which is the link I put into the URL right here, code.monext.com. We click on clone and we want to clone with HTTPS and we copy this URL. Now in any folder you want, you will hold down shift and right click in order to open PowerShell here. Next you will type in cmd.exe, you press enter and then you will type in git clone and you paste the URL and hit enter again. This will now clone the whole source code into your MD Pro 3 folder. Since cloning failed twice, I will have to use a workaround I found on Stack Overflow. So I will paste the commands git config global core compression 0. Next, we will run another command minus minus stepped 1. After the git clone command finished, we will change directory into the MD Pro 3 folder. Then we will run the git fetch minus minus unshallow command in order to update the repository. Alright, with that, our code has been fully downloaded. In the future, we can also update the repository easily by running the git pull command. This will bring us to the latest commit on the server locally so we don't need to re-download everything in order to get any kind of code updates. Now we want to download the Unity editor. We need a specific version of the editor. I will put it into the URL right now. Okay, We want to download the component installer and the Windows version. Universal Windows Platform Build Support. Then we also want to download the Windows Build Support IL2CPP. Finally, we also download this Windows Operating Systems version. We have launched these three downloads for the three Unity setups. Now we will wait until all three have finished. Alright, now that our downloads have finished, we can install the Unity setup in order to install the Unity editor. Now we have to wait to have the installer verified. Here we can click on next. We accept the license agreement. We click on next. We just keep all the defaults and we install the Unity editor. While this is installing, we can also install the other two setups by installing the IL2CPP setup. Also confirm the administrator prompt, click on next, we agree to the license conditions, we agree and click next. For the destination folder, we will choose the one we just installed it to. Which is this one, Unity 6000. Next. And once again, we wait till it installs. For the third setup, we will do the same thing. We will launch it. Confirm the administrator prompt. Click on next. We agree to the license conditions next. We choose the same destination folder. Okay, next. And we wait till it finished installing. Now that all three setups have been successful, we can close them by clicking the finish buttons.
After downloading the Unity Hub setup, we will run the setup and we will confirm the administrator prompt. We will agree to the terms, we will install to the suggested folder. And we will run the Unity Hub. Then we don't agree to let the app see our location. Okay, here it is. If you don't have an account yet, you create an account. If you already have an account, you just have to sign in here. Since I already created an account, I can just put in my information and I can log in. We're signed in. Now we can open Unity Hub in order to get the login locally. Got it. And we will not install the editor because we already installed another version. So we skip the installation. And here we will agree to activate the license. Okay, that's it. Now we also need to set up our MD Pro 3 folder with folders from the game itself. So I already copied these folders onto my USB stick. These are the folders picture, puzzle, sound, which can be found in the game folder. And the folder standalone Windows 64 can be found in the MD Pro 3 underscore data folder. So we will select all of these and copy them into the MD Pro 3 folder here. Another thing you have to do is to change your region to Chinese in order for the texts to compile correctly. You can do it by clicking the start button on Windows, typing in region going to administrative and clicking on change system locally you will have to choose chinese simplified mainland china from here and make sure that the beta checkbox is not ticked and then click ok it might prompt you to restart your computer after restarting you should be good to go and you're ready to continue Unfortunately, I recorded the rest of this video without the region change, so you will still see some garbled texts in-game. And now that all folders have been copied, we can go into the Assets folder, scroll down to the main.unity file and open it up in the Unity editor, which we installed. We will get a pop-up that says that the saved project does not match the launched editor version, which doesn't matter, we can just continue. And then it takes some time for Unity to prepare the project. Alright, now our project has been loaded in Unity Editor. Now we will also download Visual Studio and the C++ development tools as well as the Unity development tools. For that we will choose the community version since it's free. And we will launch the Visual Studio installer. Once again we confirm the administrator pop-up with yes. Now we will continue on the Visual Studio installer. The Visual Studio installer has been opened. So now we need to choose our software that we want to install. We want to install .NET development. We want to install uh, desktop C++ development. And we want to install game development with Unity. And that's it. So with that, we will click the install button. Okay, so Visual Studio says done installing. We can click OK and we can close this window. We will try to make a build. Build and run. Unity asks us to choose a build folder. So we will create a new folder and call it build. And select that folder. Now this once again will take some time to build the code. The game has been launched and we see that there is some corrupted text at the bottom and it doesn't load. That's because the assets are not in the same folder as the build files. What we do now is we close the game once again. And from within the Unity editor we can switch to the game tab. And here we can click the play button in order to play the game from within the Unity Editor. This is useful if you want to develop and test the game. 
No, as you can see, the game is running and we can play it from within Unity Editor. Okay, then we once again pause the game. If we want to develop using C Sharp in Visual Studio, we can do that by going to the Assets folder and returning back to the MD Pro 3 folder and then opening up the assembly C Sharp CS project file. This allows us to debug in Visual Studio. So let's do that. We'll choose Visual Studio 2022 to open the file. This will open up Visual Studio and it will also load all the projects inside Visual Studio. Here we can skip because this is the first time setup. We choose dark mode, start Visual Studio. We will allow Visual Studio to access the network. Alright, we close the what's new screen. And here we can open up the assembly C sharp and assets. Here we can just go through the files and we can open up the source code for some of the files. Here we open up the characters.cs file. We can uh, click on attach to Unity right here. This allows Visual Studio to attach to Unity essentially and allow us to debug the code. Now when we are attached, we can go back to Unity and continue playing the game and see what happens. All right. You're trying to attach a debugger, but debug mode is switched off in your project. Now we will say enable debugging for this session because we want to try debugging. We are attached, so we can continue playing the game. Okay, we will click on deck and we will create a new deck. Type in a random name and confirm and enter the deck. Now Visual Studio has stopped because a user exception has been thrown. In this case, you can just click on continue to continue the execution. Now that's all I wanted to show you for this video. Here you can see all the debug printouts, errors and warnings and things like that. And with that, you can enjoy developing. You can change the code and recompile and it will reflect directly in the game. I hope you liked the video, like, comment and subscribe. Big thank you to Senator John for helping me create this video and figuring out all the steps required to compile MD Pro 3. If you compile the game, please do not steal the code and do not take credit for the project. There are people out there, such as Tenshi Maro on YouTube, who are misrepresenting MD Pro 3 as his own creation. So please don't steal credit on this program. Thank you very much.